guys. A very interesting week in sports with the uh, world records in swimming broken like nilly willy. Now can someone explain to me the difference between taking drugs and wearing those swimsuits as performance enhancing? Can someone explain to me? It's an absolute joke. The Olympics is becoming a joke because some people wear swimsuits and some poor countries can't afford it. Is that performance enhancing or what? We've just lost the plots. The referee was an absolute disgrace. Had no idea what he was doing. You cannot pick the ball out of a scrum and score tries. The ball was at the end of the end of a ruck. The ball was outside the man's foot. The All Black player came around, kicked the ball, and he gets yellow carded because the crowd booed and hissed, and the referee was right there watching. Come on, guys, what are you doing, IRB? Get your asses off your seats and think about the entertainment factor and why people come to watch international sport. Make sure the rules are simple, that everyone can understand it, and the referees aren't the centre of attention. And it really pees me off to watch week in, week out, referees getting it wrong, and they're still all right for next week. No one talks about the referee because you're not allowed to. It's an absolute joke. The Africans at home, always going to be hard to beat. Interesting statistic, the All Blacks dropped the ball 30 times in 80 minutes. And it's not the All Blacks of old, and you can see by their coach Henry, he's never happy. Um, and I, you need a change. Um, unfortunately, this could be good for the All Blacks in two years for the World Cup, but who knows. The Africans, top of the Tri-Nations, the Wallabies in Cape Town this week, and it's going to be a big game. Australia's got a great opportunity, they haven't played for a couple of weeks, and the Africans, well, they've been bashed for two weeks in a row. Again, I keep on saying, the test matches between the All Blacks and the Africans are very, very different because it's a physical, to see who the strongest is. When Australia plays South Africa, it's more of a skill game. And that's where the Wallabies have got a great opportunity to go out there and uh, beat the, the, the box in Cape Town. They did it last year, and let's just hope they can do it again this year. Well, it's interesting that uh, many, many years ago when uh, I played, it's a long time ago, uh, Queensland and New South Wales hated each other. We didn't want anything to do with each other. Now we've got players coming from Queensland to New South Wales. Can you believe that? Uh, Barnes, who's a very good player, is coming down. We've lost Lottie. Tanu's gone. So they go and get a Queenslander. Uh, as I said, it's a good player. The problem is, I hope Barnes realises that after this year's performance, the ball got to the inside centre probably five times. So he's got no chance of getting the ball the way the coaches want to coach. Um, it's absolute debacle. So let's just hope that New South Wales in their wisdom get a rocket stuck up their backside, the coach, and actually run the ball. As I said before, Phil Ward doesn't control the game. We've got to get the ball out wide to the guys to score tries. <laughs> Big Wendell is playing very well, and I said to my wife, the thing about it is he looks like he's enjoying himself. Guys, that's what sport's about. It's no good going out there worrying about the money. Go out there and enjoy the moment because one day you're not going to be there. Wendell's obviously been out through problems. He's come back and the reason why he's playing well because he enjoys what he's doing. Now if everybody can see Wendell as a, as a role model on the field, have a look at it. He laughs, he has a joke and he performs. That's what we need. We need performers. We need entertainers because we need young kids to see the reason why you play sport is because you love the sport. Will it come in? Okay, we don't worry about it. We're not coming in. Don't worry about it. There's been a lot of problems with Hughes, the young guy who tweeted everyone that he was dropped before the selection was made. It's a team sport, mate. Get, ask your management first if you can do those sort of things. Don't go out in the limb and then get in trouble for it. Guy, it's a team. When you play a team sport, you've got to be in the team. You've got to get responsibility for you on the field and off the field and your teammates. You can't just do what you want to do and then all the shit hits the fan. Do it properly and then you won't get in trouble. It's pretty simple. Uh, John Barry, uh, I did mention uh, the British Lions. I am very sorry from the email. It is the British and Irish Lions. Sorry about that, uh, John, but I do try and make it sh shorter. <clears throat> I think everyone in, in rugby world knows it's the British and Irish Lions. But it doesn't really matter, mate, because they lost anyway. So we we'll have to wait for next time, okay? Before we finish, um, I just thought I'd show you this very interesting book. It's The Legends of Rugby Worlds. And it's actually individually signed 
by 75 of the world's greatest players. You go through the Australians, Argentinians, the English. I don't know why the English are there, but they're there somewhere. Uh, the Irish, the French, the Scottish, the South Africans, and the great Welsh. And then it goes through their statistics. So it's actually signed by 75 of the world's greatest players, only 530 in the world. I'm the only one in Australia that sell this book. So if you want to go on the email, davidcampese.com, they're limited edition, and they come in a great little, sorry, a little coffee book style, so it comes like that. Okay, and unfortunately, I believe one of the Irish guys have, has died recently, so it's priceless. But again, thanks very much. If you do agree with what I'm saying, let me know. If you disagree, write it in and we'll have an argument about it. But again, 140 George Street to Sydney, The Rocks, David Campisi, signing off for the 11th Commandments.tv. Speak to you next week. Bye for now. <laughs>